Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to be making this watercolor poinsettia banner card. I'm using this large integrated banner cluster stamp from the set and I'm just going to stamp it on some regular cardstock with Versamark ink and then I'm going to spoon on some gold embossing powder and just hit the whole thing with my heat tool to get this beautiful gold embossed effect. And then I'm going to be doing some coloring with Tombow markers. These are similar to Zig markers in that they are water-based inks. Our Poinsettia banner set is a really great versatile set to have in your stash if you need to make a quick holiday card. I know that sometimes when I'm running out to a holiday party and I need to make a quick card that I don't have on hand, I just need to stamp something really quickly and throw some color on it and this is the perfect set. This set has some really beautiful festive holiday florals already integrated in this beautiful banner. And the banner has these three tiers, but you want to make sure that when you're stamping this banner that the middle portion of that banner is curving upwards like a smiley face. That way, the sentiments that come with the set are going to fit accurately and correctly into the banner. The Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas sentiments will fit on the top and bottom portions of the banner. However, the add-on sentiments will fit within that middle portion of the banner only if it is curving upward. So you want to make sure that you stamp this the correct way if you plan on using those mini add-on stamps that come with the set. The florals and foliage that are integrated into the banner aren't that large, so I'm not really taking care to do any fancy shading. I'm only adding shading to the actual banner with several Tombow markers. Next, I'm going to stamp the sentiment in our Noir dye ink, and then I'm going to die cut the entire banner using the coordinating die cut. For my next step, I'm going to create a nice watercolored background to rest or ground that poinsettia banner. So I'm starting off with an A2 size watercolor panel. I'm using Canson XL 140 pound watercolor paper that is just cut down to an A2 panel. Next, I'm going to just apply clean water onto the watercolor paper because I want to do some wet on wet technique. but my watercoloring is not going to be too extensive or intricate. I'm just literally creating a wash of color using my turquoise color burst. You can see that my watercolor paper pilled just a little bit, but it's not a big deal uh, because I am going to be just covering the entire thing with the poinsettia banner die cut. So after I finish creating my color wash, I dried my panel with a heat tool and then I splattered some clean water onto the panel and then I just took a clean paper towel and I dabbed up that water and it creates this beautiful textured background. Next I'm going to hit the panel with my heat tool again to dry the panel completely and I'm going to just add some additional splatters but this time with Prussian blue color burst uh, and I just basically took the color burst powder, mixed it with water and just did some splattering to create this really beautiful one layer textured look. Next, I just adhered the panel onto a base and then popped up my poinsettia banner right onto the watercolor panel. If I remade this card, I probably would have added some stitching to the edges of that watercolor panel for a more finished look, but I didn't think of it as I was making the card. So I just finished off my card by adding some clear dew drops and my card is now complete. I hope this video inspired you uh, to make some quick and easy, simple holiday cards this season. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Bye.